Hey, what's up guys? What a glorious day it is. By now, I'm sure you know that a brand new jailbreak is out for iOS 12.4 for A7 through A11 devices. Now, the very crazy part about this jailbreak is that it has been released on a version of iOS that is still currently being signed by Apple. As a matter of fact, it is the latest version of iOS out to date to the public. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install iOS 12.4 so that you can jailbreak. Now, as you guys know, like I said, Pwn to Own has updated the Uncovered Jailbreak for iOS 12.4 for A7 through A11 devices. He is also working on an iOS 13 jailbreak and is doing testing there. So absolutely crazy news. We'll get into some of the major jailbreak updates in a follow-up video. For now, let's go ahead and take a look at how to quickly restore to iOS 12. So I'm guessing the majority of people watching this video are on an iOS 13 beta, and if you are, you're going to need a computer, either Mac or Windows, with the latest version of iTunes installed in order to downgrade. But if you guys happen to be on an iOS 12 version and just want to update to the latest version of iOS 12, you can always do that by going into the settings app, going to general, and going to software update. And here you will see iOS 12.4. You guys can go ahead and update that way directly to 12.4. Um, and there's no need for a computer. It's all on device. But again, like I said, if you're on iOS 13 like I am and want to downgrade, definitely do this process now as iOS 12.4 is still being signed. And I'm guessing within a matter of a couple of days, Apple is going to push an update something along the lines of iOS 12.4.1 to patch this jailbreak. So definitely get to iOS 12.4 as soon as possible if you guys intend on jailbreaking. So without further ado, here's exactly how to do that. Before we start, if you guys like videos like this, you know what to do, but let's go ahead and jump into things. So starting out on our devices, if you guys are signed into iCloud, you're gonna have to go into that right there at the top, go to find my iPhone and make sure find my iPhone is disabled. Either disable that or just entirely sign out of iCloud, whatever is easiest, but just make sure find my iPhone is disabled. Next, we can go ahead and connect our iPhone via a standard lightning cable to our computer. So now it's all connected on the computer side of things. I'll go ahead and pop that up and we can go ahead and go directly into iTunes. Here we can trust the connection on our computer and again, trust it on the phone, something like that, just so it pulls up in iTunes. So here we are within iTunes, within our iPhone summary page. Literally all we have to do is press restore. You have the option to back up user data. I highly recommend backing up this before restoring your iPhone as it's going to entirely wipe the device. But my phone's already backed up, so I'll go ahead and not back up and then click restore. Now, if you guys run into errors just like this, you're going to have to manually download the IPSW file. Now, if you run into errors like I did, you're going to have to manually download download the iPhone's IPSW file for iOS 12.4. So you can head to this site, it's located down below in this video's description. We can go ahead and select iPhone, select our iPhone model, I have a 10s Max for this demo, and we can go ahead and select iOS 12.4 and select download. Now, just as a warning, iPhone 10s's or any A12 device is not yet supported for this new jailbreak. It's only A7 through A11 devices. So that's the iPhone 5s all the way up to the iPhone 10. So just as a fair warning, if you guys have one of the newer devices, this jailbreak is not yet supported, but for every other device, it is supported on the latest version of iOS that's still currently being signed by Apple. A links to all this will be down below in this video's description. But once your IPSW file has been downloaded, you can go ahead and option on a Mac, click restore with that button held, and then navigate to your downloads folder and uh, basically just select iOS 12.4 for your specific device. We can go ahead and click open and click restore. And now the restore has started. Again, you shouldn't have to manually download the IPSW file. But if you run into errors like I am for whatever reason, that's always an option to manually download it as well. 
Anyway guys, that's how to get the restore started. Now on device, the restore is going to complete on its own and then we're going to be back on iOS 12.4 and then can immediately begin to jailbreak. Anyway guys, I'll let this restore finish up and I'll be right back. Well guys, there we have it. The restore has finished. Back to iOS 12.4. Now, as you guys can see within iTunes, you have the option to restore from a backup, but if you guys are jailbreaking, I highly suggest to set it up as a new phone from scratch. So I'll go ahead and select that button, and then again begin the process of manually setting this iPhone up. Anyway guys, that's pretty much the entirety of the restore process. If I go into settings, go down to general, and go to about, as you guys can see, I'm on iOS 12.4. Again, this is a 10s Max, so unfortunately this device won't work to jailbreak because it's an A12 device, has an A12 processor. But every other iPhone from the iPhone 5s all the way up to and including the iPhone 10 can be jailbroken on iOS 12.4. Four. So I'm sure that's the majority of users out there aside from people with the newest devices. Anyway guys, that was just a quick tutorial on how to either downgrade or upgrade to iOS 12.4 and restore. Anyway, I hope this video definitely helped you out. And again, if it did, please let us know down below in the comments section. Again, like, comment, and subscribe before you head out. But until next time, this is Tony signing out. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 12.4, the latest public firmware as of recording this video without the need of a computer on A7 through A11 devices. That includes everything from the iPhone 5S up until the iPhone 10. Unfortunately, if you have an iPhone 10S, 10S Max, or a 10R, you will not be able to jailbreak yet. Definitely check down below in the description for our jailbreak status checker page for A12 devices that will be updated the very second a new utilities released, so bookmark it and check back regularly to see if a tool has been pushed or if this version of Uncover has been updated to include support for iOS 12.4 on A12 devices. Now with that said, let's go ahead and get straight into this. There is one caveat, you do actually have to be on 12.4, so this is not iOS 12 through 12.4 support, this is just added 12.4 support. So if you're on iOS 12.3 or 12.3.1, you will actually have to restore to iOS 12.4. So you will need access to a computer to do that. But for everything else, this is actually an on-device jailbreak. If you don't have a computer, you can borrow a friend's PC or Mac. All you have to do is just plug into it, open up iTunes, backup, restore, then restore from your backup. If you don't have iTunes and you're on Windows, just go to itunes.com and you can download it that way. All right, so let's get into this. There are only three steps. There is a prerequisite though, in addition to that caveat before we get into said three steps. First of all, if you do have an OTA update downloaded on your device, you're going to have to delete it. Now, this is almost irrelevant right now just because iOS 12.4 is the latest public firmware right now, but that's going to change. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. Apple will patch this, most likely with iOS 12.4.1. So if you're on 12.4, you're watching this at a later date, you're going to have to delete any OTA updates your device may have downloaded. Also, if you do have the iOS 13 beta profile installed, and you just haven't updated to iOS 13, you might actually have an OTA update as well. Now this is important because when Apple actually stops signing iOS 12.4, if you're running it, but you've downloaded an OTA update and you try to actually do this, it will brick your device, forcing you to restore to what will essentially be an unjailbreakable firmware. And you don't want that. So you're going to go inside of the settings application. You're going to scroll down to general, and then you're going to go to iPhone storage, or it'll be iPod storage or iPad storage based on what you have. And then you should see the update right here. It has a little settings gear over on the left for the iPad and it will say whichever iOS version it is. Of course, if you're watching this in the future, it will most likely be iOS 12.4.1. Now, with that said, I'm going to show you guys that we are in fact on iOS 12.4 and we're going to proceed with this tutorial. So we're running iOS 12.4 for the software version right there. You can see that the settings app does in fact confirm that. Now, you're just going to go to our tutorial page 
which is also our download page. It's linked down below in the description as well as in your cards right now. And you're just going to scroll down essentially to the first step and you're going to tap where it says tap here to download the on-device distribution method. Now this first link is just gathering everything you need, all the resources, and then it will refresh and you're just going to scroll down and tap right where it says tap here. And you'll be